so we will start with australian dollar so going to weekly time frame in weekly time frame it's a downtrend and it has a perfectly supporting 21 ema and the last support resistance level from last area it is going down on weekly time frame so the bigger the time frame the better the trade you can see it's always supporting the same we always supporting the same support level so the bigger the time frame the better the trade so now coming to weekly time frame it has come to its last support level so it may be expected to go up or may not be expected to go up so now coming to daily time frame to take this trade to take the bottom trade the first rule is that the last uh, bottom should be below 30 oversold in current one should be above 30 so my last and another rule should be is like your candle should come in this one when this green range on the last uh, candle and then make a uptrend so we can see for last three days last before three days it was going down yesterday it went up so basically still a downtrend Coming to our four basis, once again, let me see one thing. 1800 to 35 36 one to this year 17 to the 24 okay where we where we were at, we were at uh sorry we were at our for discussion so we just saw the time frame our for talking about our one it is an overbought area It was in a zone last time in our time frame. One second, the zone was at the moment 580 and it was like it will move up or down 580 5, so 58,000 basically. So, in weekly time frame, 58,000 was 58,000, 58,000. Yep, 58,000 was the support area. So since it was downtrend, in our one, in this time, we have should all, only have taken those sell, sell, sell. Then it would have been a very great thing. <clears throat> but yesterday it has moved, went up. So the last support area was this one. So in hour one, I am not going to make the range right now. Or should I? Maybe I should. So 
So I'm not going to take any trade or all the trade. I'm not going to take all the trade. I'm going to change my rectangle size or color today also. I'm not going to take any all the trade or any simple trade. This should be at major support and resistance level. If that's the case, then only I'm going to take the trade. So my first trade could be AOD CHF. If it comes in this resistance zone, which is also the 50 EMA, so not 50 EMA, maybe or may not be, I'm not sure right now, but Fibonacci 50 level. Then I will take a sell trade. So it is support. So where are my rules? Let's see, it's following my rules. First, I follow the trend. Yeah, the trend is downtrend. Second, it is support level. Yeah, we're looking for the support level to take the trade. Is it at 50 EMA? Not so right now. Is it 20 EMA? Not so right now. Let's see, let me make one more. Is it at Fibonacci 50 level? Yeah, we are waiting for that to also recover. And then it should be a proper candlestick. Then stop loss. So my trade will be for AOD CHF. The first thing will be AUD Australian dollar. Yeah. So the, my first trade, which may happen today, is Australian dollar to CHF to Swiss. Aust Audi to switch, Swiss, Audi to Swiss. Okay. So we'll wait for it. Okay. So the first trade, Audi to Swiss. We'll wait for it to come to resistance and 50 FIBO and candlestick, proper candlestick for entry. So yesterday I made a big mistake. I lost $86. Today I'm being a little cautious. Not cautious, it should how I should pay. Coming to AOD CAD, weekly time frame. The market all downtrend. Now it is in a range, and the probability of going up is going is there. So I'm looking from up trade right now. In daily time frame, what can I say? Today is a hammer candle. I can. It's a bullish harami. So looking for a trend right now. In our time frame, it didn't make double bottom. But it is in a zone area. This was last zone area which was played multiple times. So it was last uh, area which was played most of it mostly. So
so weekly a change probability and diversion in their probability go up on daily also some making uh, diversion here but it, it is not a diversion actually but making bullish harami our four it is somehow expected to i'm expecting it to make double bottom and uh, or this support area to test so i'll observe only the two column one straight second is observed Break resistance or make DV. You will see what is happening. Coming to next AUD JPY. Weekly. This is uptrend daily. Uptrend hour four. It is making up trend hour one. Insert shape. I am late to enter right now. And if I first enter it, then we will discuss about it. You can see I made an impulsive move, but. Huh. <sighs> My ticket will be at this next support level nine dollar. The stop loss will be here four dollar. So it broke this area, broke the range, and it started moving fast. It didn't give us time to think of it. So what just happened was it was in a range. You have to pull this up a little far here. So this is a range. Last support area from the market went down. In a week, you can see this uptrend. daily it is an uptrend coming down and again forming up or up so it stopped it and not not ended right now and yesterday it was bullish engulfing you can see the bullish engulfing here so if you trade the it on daily basis also So my stop loss should have been like uh, five to ten. This is this is across seven to fourteen. So at this level only. So but my entry would be a little earlier at, as of daily time daily time frame basis. In our time frame, it has broke the zone, and I entered. So it can be a loss, but our trend is good. We enter a good trade actually. Uh, this is not a Fibonacci. We can't see Fibonacci here. We can see the 50 MA supporting 50 MA and supporting the. So what are my entries? Are we following price trend? Yes. It is a support resistance level. Yes. It broke the resistance level. It is also 50 MA, yes. These two are mandatory. This is once we satisfied. Does the candlestick pattern mandate the entry? Yeah, I can see the hammer here. First of all, the hammer. 
then after this uh, police engulfing supporting the hammer we replaced the stop loss better yeah stop loss should be managed a little let me see what is the stop loss right now so the last this is the last candle i placed before that if i come a little side this no i can't take this one as my last candle this is this So what is my ATI saying? 24, 124. So taking last two digit, 124, 302. So if it is like here, it's like here. If it is here, it is like uh, 256, 265 plus 124 is uh, 3, 400. Let's say 400 pips. The 400 pips will be around too much for me. Five dollar. Five point three, and this is ten dollar. <coughs> okay, is this how you tell me today? I have to see. AOD and JD going to weekly. Yesterday showed a bullish engulfing. Today again, it market opened a very bottom level. I think, yeah, market opened a very bottom level. So, It was a diversion and might was supposed to go up so the best way trade was is to take the uh, in our basis we should have entered put in the stop loss below this range i think i did yesterday one trade like that and the profit of next margin should have been this level so if i have done yesterday, yesterday so my stop loss would have been 500 pips too yep 1000 pips. So this was the best way to trade yesterday. it was diversion mm -hmm. 5 to 10 AUD USD we waited for double bottom double bottom appeared and it is going up so in weekly time frame double bottom it has reached its last support level and going to, trying to go up daily time frame you can say diversion hourly for we missed it trade actually here so next support level is this one let it come to this level so once it break this level we'll take one more trade up Discussing one pair took me around 20 minutes. NJD CAD. Now, this is what I was looking for. It came in this zone, is making a bullish engulfing pattern. Let me walk through weekly. So, market is coming down. 
is a downtrend actually right now. Very good downtrend. So only small profit I can take in upward. So it is a support level. You can see this red color. Support major support area. It is falling the major support area. A time frame yesterday. It should be a single thing. Hour four, hour one, and the diversion, full diversion. The bullish candle is going a long last today. So the ATR is one one nine. So it's like two hundred eight plus one one nine is two hundred plus one one nine is three hundred ninety. Hundred nineteen will be here. Yeah, three twenty or something. Doesn't matter for five ten pips. So it is like how much? Uh, three twenty eight. Three twenty eight to six. Three to six seven. Three twenty eight to six seven. So this is the next support area. So three twenty eight minus six seven seven. Okay, across seven six six point seven something. I can see the next support area is this level. So one two three four five, and it is giving a good one is to reach to the to reward ratio. So NJDCHF it is also making double bottom. I'm going to take this one also. This cool diversion. Okay, so what should my stop loss? My stop loss should be here. Approx. Uh, 206 plus 74, 274. 274 will be here, like here. Yep. 259 or 274 maybe. Yep. Yeah, 276 cool. And my profit will be 276 to Java. Uh, 520 something. And this is support level. This is saying 300. This is okay. If I go like this, it is like uh, uh, five dollar. This is like six five eleven uh, eleven dollar. Eleven dollar will be my something like here. And it is how much pips? Five hundred pips. And this is like 259 to 500 pips, something like that. Control B. Let me delete this Fibonacci for time being. So in double bottom, uh, we are not seeing this RSI anything. We have to see only two things. First, the candle should come within this range, this candle range, last candle range. Then it should make a big uh, bullish movement at the same time this will be divided diversion here so it come came within this range the last candle range and we have taken this stop loss as per ATR right now and the profit is one is to two five dollar to ten dollar every approx but the major thing is that next support level. Also, we can take second profit till this level. So we try that. So this is like six to six. Yeah, I will take one more trade with the same stop loss and the profit of double bottom. And this is will be will be like here at this level. So from here it's like six to six something here.
It was an uptrend, but a halt has come to the uptrend after this hammered a black uh, in uh, uh, bullish candles form. I don't think it's a hammer candle, but a good bullish candle, good rejection can be seen there. In day trade, we can see the diversion here, and after diversion, market has gone down. So we should have taken this diversion entry, but we didn't. And now in weekly time frame, so our four time frame so a good with the good diversion of nice uh, downtrend started so now it's a downtrend actually so it is in a range right now So the best entry would have been this one. It is a range. NJT JPY in a range. And down trend. Take. Let me see if I didn't return any NJT yesterday. NJT JPY. We have taken any NJT JPY notes. No, we have not done any NJT JPY notes. Okay. So NJT JPY is in a is in a range. Yes, it's a downtrend. First of all, downtrend and in range. will only look for sell <clears throat> at resistance until it's break the range. So I have to move a little range a little up a little. So I have to make this range as per our one time frame so it is easy to trade. Yeah, now it is looks good. First thing here. Second thing, this one. So let's stretch it like this all uh, till this bottom. Can it be okay? So basically, this is the range. Or it is a downtrend. Maybe I have missed this second downtrend. I have missed this one entry. So this could be one of the reason. It may be or may not be downtrend. So it is not a downtrend actually. Okay, we have put our uh, observation here. Let it write it in one. So maybe not a range, but we have to look for only downtrend. So I'm putting this into observation right now. AUDCHF. Okay, now NJD USD. Weekly, it's a downtrend. 
डेली इट इज इन सपोर्टिंग रेंज वन सेकेंड The bottom is on. Let me delete this one. This triangle is not required anymore. So insert the projecting. This is the last low. We yep, have this was last low coming to our one. So uh, it has not reached to its bottom. Uh, support level and uh, then it's not a double bottom right now it's still a down range it is continuing the down range usdpr usd chf weekly is a down trend uh, daily it made a bullish engulfing day before yesterday and uh, a hammer yesterday it is proving that it's a down trend in continuation hour for hour one so what is this what is this diagram is a down trend basically down trend so it's better take the trade if it break the start range if it break the range we will take the trade support break the support here yeah. So what is USD CHF break support? So dollar Swiss. If it breaks support, then we will we think of trading the down trade. So it's an observation because after that we have to see all the other factors again. So now we are in USD CAD. USD CAD. Uh, double top at four hour maybe. Triangle zone top hit. So we are waiting for this double top to form. No double top. It didn't form double top yesterday. Sorry. So, your triangle formation and where in the time frame this range was hit and it was coming down, nothing to so triangle formation is in weekly time frame and market is in a zone. And also in a range. So I don't know what to is I will observe this CAD. So this observation no notes, it will be observed on daily basis to see how the market moves. USD JPY. Weekly. So weekly is it at a support level? It's a resistance level, and there is clear diversion. So now the market is downtrend. Be very clear. Any time frame? The market has retested its support again. So this is market has retested its resistance again, and with this. Resistance and this hammer, the market is making a down movement. In hour four, the market is uh, hour one, talking about hour one. Uh, 
our four, our one, daily. We will go for daily also with the top and for hour also we can look for the top and uh, in hour Eleven thousand. Oh my God. Eleven twenty-two thousand. Twenty-two thousand somewhere here. This is next support. The one. What I'm saying. It is like. USD JPY. It has come to the. Uh, so USGPY is an observation with the entry. Dollar. Yen. With entry. Now coming to Euro AUD. Weekly time frame is an uptrend. The market is going up. It is an uptrend. Daily uptrend taking it made one support here, but it's an uptrend. Hourly. I think for Euro AOD, I took like uh, it was a diversion. So let me see. For Euro AOD, Euro AOD, I took sale. Stop loss 16653. 1666. So it's a diversion. I should have taken from here. Stop loss here. So it would have been. Uh, So it broke the zone. My sub stop loss will be at this zone. It's a big support loss, five pips to one thousand pips, one thousand pips. So next support level is this one. So most main support area is like this one. So it has been tested one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, not more than four than one is there, two is here, three is here. And uh, it has definitely broke this zone. It's a downtrend. And I can see on which you see it is a uptrend. On weekly basis, it is an uptrend, okay. Uh, daily basis. Our four, it is an uptrend, but here it just broke this the area. This was the range which was suffering from a lot of time, and mm, 
I think I made a mistake here. I don't know. So what is the case here? It was in its own zone here. It broke the zone, tried to come back again, went up again, pushed down. So it came to next zone. And from this zone, the next support level is this one. So is my entry point good? I don't know here. F50 MET, it made a good candle. After him, it made an engulfing candle. I didn't took trade here. I took trade at this level. Okay, moving next head, we don't have that much time. Weekly. Diversion, it's a downtrend. Daily, it is a downtrend. Our four, taking support, our one, even if you support, I will only look for downtrend. So Euro CAD. I will look for downtrend. Euro Canadian dollar. <laughs> downtrend it's a downtrend but here some uh, range has formed daily it was a downtrend from here uptrend is forming so it formed uptrend to two days ago, ago but again it's a downtrend if i see our four weekly downtrend, our our four is downtrend, our one oh, too much pollution. Euro NJD weekly is an uptrend. Daily obviously uptrend taking a support and moved off in last three four days. Euro NJD. So it was, uh, it broke the range right now. So it formed a diversion. Euro, New Zealand dollar, Euro USD. Weekly, it was uptrend, now it has become a downtrend because it has broke the last uh, lower high and from the lower low. So it is a retracement uh, left zone from where it can go up. And it's already shown a bullish, um, uh, bullish engulfing.
biologia pi Euro CHF. It is uptrend, 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 uptrend. <clears throat> it is forming a downtrend weekly. It has broke the last lower high, and from there only it has taken a support. You can see here. Oh, oh. And from that level, it has taken resistance. It's a downtrend right now. Daily basis is a good downtrend. So yesterday I might I should have taken a down entry, but I didn't. Whatever. Our it is coming a resistance level. It's supposed to make a proper entry. So it's resistance level. It is resistance level making a proper <coughs> I'm not getting any proper candle right now but here 191 is the ATR it's like 155 plus 191 to 45 to Forty six to forty eight full so two forty eight to five hundred in weekly it is a making a downtrend daily downtrend at the support of last resistance our four at resistance has to make downtrend so 
the next support area is this one five hundred I have taken loss of two forty to five hundred same thing as two ratio <clears throat> also it has supported this bottom two eyes so <clears throat> it can move from here you no know, it will form a range and again break the range and go down <clears throat> so nothing to worry it's a good trade weekly daily you know it is a downtrend <clears throat> hour four hour one it is back in the same resistance level make this as a support area and the support area should be a little more purified like uh, this one now it's more purified it is in a range so you know, will not take the trade right now so weekly uptrend from the same support level from same support level it has taken the up so now it is uptrend right now properly uptrend and uh, i we missed this one daily it's going up today also it is going up from the same support area so the next area of profit will be this one control f is like 2989 2989 so this one let's see how much it is asking for so if i do it here it's like too much of uh, 1000 pips okay so 2000 pips will be around this 2000 pips it has broken this broken the support with this candle it's almost ending I should increase my speed without talking nonsense. Weekly, it is now a downtrend. Daily, yep, downtrend. This is going a downtrend right now. The last support was this. It broke the last support and with black. It has to be downtrend. So the best area of under it, and it should be have been like uh, 16 to 32, somewhere here. This is my next support profit level. So if I'm taking any trade, it should be like this much till this much. Now coming to up four, is trying to make a uh what can the uh those uh even more evening stress frank like evening star i think our four forget our our one take our four our one is too much no i see i know i don't want to see our one right now so if i take our four it will be sell right now so my stop loss will be across this is the point and ATR is going to 28, 142 plus 228 is equal to 390. 390 will be across here. 390. Yeah, across here, 390 will be across here. And the profit will be, as I told you earlier, my profit will be at this level. Where is this level? This is the uh, 3023. Now let's wait and watch. It's forming a evening star. GBCHF weekly time frame. It has broke the weekly time frame. You can see that this was zone. My zone was struggling. It broke the zone. In daily basis coming up. Hourly four. It is coming up. Hourly one. 
uh, it has to take the support and go back. The support area will be I have to drop Fibonacci from here to find a proper support area. I need a good candlestick to enter. A 50 Fibonacci, it is a 50 support level. So what is my ATR is 96. So my stop loss being at this level, ATR plus 96, 200 approx dollar. So before this candle. And what I'm looking at, it's broke the zone. So my profit either will be this candle for time being, 12, four to 12. We will see how things go on. So I've taken a lot of trade today, and uh, the all are in loss actually. These are all in loss right now. So the loss for today's trade is around uh, six dollar loss i'm going a six dollar loss i've decreased my lot size to two lot from ten lot because i didn't have that much balance so this is all for today